Hey friends, it's time for math. We're on page 39 in our books. We're doing lesson two, session three, otherwise known as, I think you can see this, two dash three. So we're doing page 39, lesson two dash three. So on your books, in your books, it has a red water bottle like this. Okay, up at the top says lesson two, session three, and we're on page 39. Now up at the top, I have written down the question that they have on your paper as well. It says, three players on blue team, there's some more words, on the blue team, three players on the blue team, four players on the red team, how many in all? Our first job is to circle the numbers when we come to a word problem. So circle the numbers, circle the numbers, circle the numbers. Good, I read it once. Now I'm looking for other words that I might need to know. Three players on the blue team, four players on the red team, how many in all? I'm gonna circle or put a box around in all because that tells me I am adding. Okay, nice. Now I want you to, before I just jump in and start showing you how to solve it, I want you to really think, I want you to try it. It says try it, I want you to try it on your own. So pause the video here, pause it now, give it a shot. How would you solve this? Okay, hmm, how would you solve this? I'll give you a hint, this says using doubles and near doubles. So you could use your doubles facts to help you solve a near doubles problem. Near doubles problem is plus one, and this is plus one. So pause it and then restart it now. All right, I'm going to show you how you can solve it if you wanted to. You could do a doubles fact, which is three, plus, Three, okay, three plus three, plus one. Hopefully you know that three plus three, three, four, five, six. And one more is, we're counting on, seven. So I have three plus four equals seven. You could also do it a different way. You could say, okay, I know that three plus three, oops. I know that, I know my doubles facts and I know that three plus three equals six. And then six plus one more is seven. You could also say, okay, three and one makes four. Don't forget about that three. Three plus four equals seven. Holy cow, that was a lot of information to just throw at you. Okay. Down at the bottom it says, right down here it says, discuss it. How does knowing three plus three equals six help solve this problem? So think about it. How does knowing your doubles facts of three plus three equals six help you solve this problem? Explain it to a grown-up, explain it to a dog, a cat, your brother, your sister, yourself. Anything that you can do to let us know, how does knowing a doubles fact help you? Well, now that you've told a friend, go ahead and tell a friend, pause it, stop it, come back to me. If you know your doubles facts, which is three plus three equals six, you're solving three plus four. Well, three plus four, four is one more than three. So the answer must be one more than six, which is seven. So if you know three plus three equals six, which is a doubles fact, it will help you solve three plus four, which is a near double. So that means it's close to it. It's not three plus three, it's just one more. So three plus three is six, but you're adding one here, so you add one there. Let me show you in a different way. So if you took three plus three equals six, 
if you know three plus three equals six is a double fact, then you know you're doing three plus four. That's what they're trying to find out. So you add one to the three. You also have to add one over here. So then it would be three plus four equals seven. You add one to both sides and then you get your answer. If you flip it on over on page 40, it is still talking about this problem. It's just modeling it. So if you couldn't figure it out on this first page, boys and girls, it's then going to model it. Find three plus four. Use doubles plus one to find the total. So what they did is they put a little box around. Um, so they went like this. How about that? So it says doubles plus one. Okay, mine looks a little bit different. They have all red down here, but I wanted you to see the doubles fact of three plus three is six plus one more. This is near doubles. So then I would take my marker and I put a box around my doubles fact. So here's my doubles fact. Do, do, do. Okay. So now I can see that I have three plus three plus one. This is also, these are an even number because this is an even number because no one is left out. It's called even Steven. Two, four, six. There is counting by twos. Two, four, six, even Steven. If I have this one out here, I know it's an odd number. It's odd Todd. Somebody is always left out when it's odd. Okay. So then you would write it on this page. They say, they say three plus four equals what? Well, I broke the four down into three and one. See three dots here and one dot there. Three plus three plus one equals, so three plus four must equal. So what they do is they start with three plus four and they break it out and then they put it back together. They add the three and the one to get the four. So your answer boys and girls is seven. There are seven. So three plus three plus one is seven. Three plus four is seven. There are seven players in all. Nice job. Turn the page to 41, you'll see some cool toys and some more dots. I'm going to erase this. Number one is, how is your way like model it and how is it different? So when you did try it, what they're asking is, when you did try it here and you did it on your own without Miss Slam, what was different and the same from this to what the book did? How was yours different and how was it the same? So that is what you're gonna need to answer on your own. I, I don't know what you did for try it. So I can't answer that for you. I can just tell what I did with it. So how was yours the same and how was it different? It's just wanting you to compare other people's way of thinking and other strategies to solve these answers different than your own. So number one is, how is your way like model it? How is it different? So here, hopefully you got seven. So you could say, how is it like it? Well, hopefully you got the same answer. Hopefully you got seven. So you could say, I got seven, period. And actually we could say players because we have to say what it is. I got seven players, right, on the team. And then you could say, you know, if you used a doubles fact, you could say I used doubles. You could say I counted on. You could also say I did near doubles. You could draw a picture. Some people use their fingers. Whatever works for you. So any of those would work to write down for number one. Number two, it says, Boom wrote four plus four plus one. Buzz wrote five plus five minus one. Who is right? Circle, how do you know? All right, well, first things first, Miss Lamb needs to build 
I'm going to write the two different strategies. I'm going to write four plus four plus one. And I'm also going to write five plus five minus one. That matches. All right, then I'm going to take my dots and I have in the top, I want to talk to you about rows. So these, when it goes side to side, this one right here, I'll cover it up. Let's see. Um, when I go side to side, it's like this. This is a row. This is a row. A row goes like this and it's like row like a row. But so when you're going across and you're looking in this row, it's called row like a row boat. You can do it with me. Row like a row boat. Nice. So in the top row, I have four blue dots and that's what I'm gonna make up here on the board. One, two, three, and four. Now in my bottom row, row like a row boat, I have five red dots. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and five. That matches the picture, right? Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna give you some time to think about it, is this model showing four plus four minus one, or is it showing five plus five minus one? I don't know which one it's showing if I don't know how many dots I have here. So boys and girls, the first thing you need to do is figure out how many dots you have, okay? One strategy they showed us was to draw a box to where this guy was left out. Now I'm going to count one, two, three, four. Do I need to count how many are down here if I know that this is four? No, it's just like before. So I know that this is four. One, two, three, four. And this is one, two, three, four. I didn't have to count that four plus four. And then there's one more plus one. So now that I know that this is four plus four plus one, I can then say, oh yeah, this is four plus four plus one. Absolutely. But I want to rule out that this is not true. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to solve this for how many dots. I know that 4 plus 4, the doubles fact, is 8. And I know that 8 plus 1, 8, 9, is 9. Now, I could also do that the other way. If I have 4 plus 4 plus 1, I could do it like this. Five. And then I know that four plus five is nine. So four plus one is five. The four drops down. Four plus five equals nine. Either way, I get nine. So I know my answer to this one is nine because this equation is the same as what's drawn here. But this one, let's solve this problem and see if this also works. So I know that five plus five, it's a doubles fact. And five plus five equals 10. It's a, those are friends of 10. So now I have 10, then minus one drops down 10 minus one. If I have 10 fingers and then take away one, I have nine. Oh, look, look at that. They both work. Cause watch this boys and girls. Here I have five plus five, one, two, three, four, five, plus one, two, three, four, five, minus one equals nine. So you know what you're gonna say, boys and girls, for this problem, it says who is right circle. How do you know? You're going to circle boom and buzz. They are both correct. Both are correct. There are um, 
Are these? There are nine. There are nine. Let's just say dots. Nine dots. So there you go. Hopefully you can see that. This shows that both of these are correct. If I know four plus four is eight, I can know that if I add one more, one more from eight right here is nine. If I know my doubles back to five plus five is 10, I could take one away because he could tell, hey, one's missing from here and I get nine. So both of them are correct. They're both near doubles. This is near the four plus four doubles fact. This is near the five plus five doubles fact. It's just missing one. So both strategies are correct. You get the same answer. All right, down at the bottom, we're on number three. It says apply it. Two dolls, whoop, whoop, two dolls and three balls. Oh, that rhymes. How many toys in all? Okay, let's see. Two dolls and three balls. They broke this down. And look at what they did. They put a box around them. So now I can see that two plus three equals, I don't know. They broke down three into two and one. So then they put it back together, two plus three. If you know two plus two, two plus two is four, plus one more is five. So two plus three equals five. One, two, three, four, five. You don't wanna count them all out like I just did because it takes too much time. The whole reason why you're learning your doubles facts is so that way you go faster. All right, if I turn the page, I'm now on the back, which says number four. Number four. Just gonna erase all my lines here. Do, do, do. Okay. So it says, use what you know about doubles to solve. Four circles and five squares. How many shapes in all? This is really nice because it breaks it down for you. Four plus five equals, I don't know. But I do know that five is four plus one, so it made it a doubles fact. So four plus five. So here I have four plus five. I can do exactly what I did before and put my box around it. Okay, I have four plus five. Five breaks down into this row right here is four, one, two, three, four plus one. Five breaks into four plus one. The reason why I pulled it out, pulled the four out, is because I have a four here and I can make it a doubles fact. So four plus four equals eight plus one. So one drops down, eight plus one equals nine. So four plus four plus one equals nine. Four plus five equals nine. You have nine shapes. There you go, my dears. Pretty awesome, right? Number five says five oranges and four apples. How many pieces of fruit in all? Circle the numbers five and four. Put a box around in all. I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna keep that up there because all it is is the same thing, but they flipped it. They're trying to trick you. They're trying to trick you. So these are my five oranges right here in this row. And they're kind of red, so they kind of do look like one, two, three, four, five, five oranges. I'm gonna circle that number. So just imagine this is flipped. These are the oranges. Those are the apples. Here I have four apples. Oops. This looks like a Q. It's too long. And then I am going to circle in the sentence, in all. Put a box around it, okay? This is the same thing, but what they did is they're doing that five plus five. They're making five a double stack. So now we're gonna do five plus five. So we're gonna bring this one in here. We know five plus five equals 10. See how I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. 
Okay, so we're pretending this is a five. Five plus five is 10, but it's not five, it's four. So I'm gonna take it away. So I'm gonna do 10 minus one equals nine. That's one way to do that. They have the same thing. They have five plus five minus one. So they say five minus one is four, because I had five here and I took it away. Now I have four left, four. And now I know five plus four equals nine. So again, your answer is nine. Two different ways. You can either make doubles by making this 10 plus 10, or I'm sorry, five plus five, and then minus one. Or you can make it four plus four plus one. So it works out both ways. This one we did was five plus five minus one. All right, I know this is confusing, so if you need to watch this again, you can. Down here on the next two pages, you're gonna do the same thing. Put a box around it, you're gonna tell me who's right, those kinds of things. I know you guys can do this. Please follow along with my strategies. There is a reason why I'm having you do this. So I hope it all makes sense and you enjoy learning as much as I do. Bye.